Hello and welcome to Industry of Things World USA 2017 here in San Diego. I'm here with Tom Gibbons from Wind River, one of our primary partners of the event. Hi Tom and welcome to the conference. Hi, thanks for having me. First of all, I would like to ask you to briefly introduce yourself to us. Sure, uh, my name is Tom Gibbings. Uh, I work for the Cloud Business Unit at Wind River. Uh, I have uh, extensive history uh, for in healthcare IT and I moved over into the IoT space in 2014 and I'm loving everything I do. Tomorrow your colleague Keith Shea will have a presentation on the latest IoT technologies and trends. So, but before that, can you give us a sneak peek into what you are doing at Wind River in, with regards to the industrial IoT space? Yeah, sure. So Wind River has an extensive history in Embedded. And we're building on that history in IoT where we're taking our leadership in Embedded Operating Systems and we're building on that by introducing several products. It starts with VxWorks and Wind River and Linux where there's new versions that have been purpose-built for IoT. And then we're also moving into the cloud where we are managing those IoT devices with our Helix device cloud. Now, crossing all of those products, we have some several themes. Uh, those themes are security, complexity, and regulation. And the idea is that we want to manage all those things so that our customers can focus on their vertical specific value add. And with the Helix device cloud especially, there's a lot of common components that you'll see across all IoT solutions. And we don't want our customers to invest that money into those common components, so we supply those as part of our offerings so that our customers can focus on what makes them competitive in the space. Industry of Things World and Wind River have been closely partnering within the last three years. Uh, and we truly appreciate all the marketing insights we're, gaining, we're getting from you from, and from our cooperation. I would like to ask you, in your opinion, what do you think that companies need and that they truly need in order to succeed in the industrial IT space? Yeah, so I would have two recommendations for companies that are trying to succeed in IoT. So the first is device lifecycle management. Now I touched on this earlier with the Helix Device Cloud being a device lifecycle management platform, but uh, a lot of people are very interested in the data and deriving actionable insights from that data. However, when you place those devices in the field, once that technician has installed and connected the device, you don't want to have to have that technician come out and interact with that device, because otherwise you're going to be increasing your costs and you're going to be violating the premise of IoT. And so once you have those deployed, it's really important to have a strategy on managing the life cycle of that device. And this goes above and beyond the data. Uh, the, the second thing I would say is about ecosystem. And this goes back to the, the IoT solution stack. It's really complicated. And when you go into these niche verticals, there's going to be a component that uh, you can't provide yourself. There's no one company that can supply the entire uh, solution stack for IoT. So that's where ecosystem is such an important part of, of uh, your planning because there's going to be a, a, a niche need that you're going to have that you're going to have to go out to the ecosystem in order to provide. And that's why we're really excited is the, the Intel Wind River, uh, uh, the, the Intel Wind River being a one-stop shop so that you can come uh, leverage our best of breed technologies in silicon and in embedded and also leverage our ecosystem that we spent a lot of time developing. Based on your experience, uh, what, what are the main differences you see between the US and the European markets? Yeah, so uh, there's, there's more, there are more things that are similar than different, but the big thing I would say that I've seen is with regards to data stewardship. There's a lot of interest in, in, in EMEA where uh, people are very concerned about where the data is stored long term. And ever since the, 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 the Snowden incident with the US government and uh, the intrusiveness, uh, European companies are very interested in ensuring that the data stays within uh, data centers that are hosted in the, uh, the, the host country for that company. And so in the US, uh, the companies are very comfortable with hosting their data centers in the US, but not so much uh, with the European customers. They're very, very particular about ensuring that that data uh, is controlled and, and stays within the country uh, that they are uh, uh, claiming home to. What are your first impressions of the conference so far? What do you think of the different formats we have organized here? Yeah, I love the new format. And so what it does, it gives some good structure to ensuring that people are interacting and sharing ideas. And, uh, and it gives us just enough structure so that uh, we can uh, explore various topics that are organized 
and then that leads to other conversations that you would not otherwise have if you didn't start with a, a great foundation of you know, like the, the mixers where you had the, the host tables that sparked a lot of the, the interesting discussion and debate and then these uh, uh, these other uh, uh, panel discussions where you get to hear about others that are having uh, some challenges in IoT and how they solve the problems. Thank you very much for the valuable insights you shared today with us and I wish you a great rest of the day here. Thank you, my pleasure.